Well, it's PvE. You know the entire lobby's got to vote for Scuttle Puddle. Don't you one guy us. All right, we got it. We did kind of get a gold start, so I'm probably hitting 10. Give me a freaking Kobuko. None of these are Kobuko. Sad. Dragonlord Sage Exalted. Yasuo and Kha'Zix. All right, if I have early Exalted, that I should just hold. Hopefully I hit another gold here. That way I can just sell Thresh off. Cloak. I didn't. Also no Kobuko here. I would, I guess I hold Darius Pair or Duelist. You're getting sold. Both of these are getting sold. Make sure we hit gold. Tier of Porcelain Crown. I'm not taking Going Long. Wandering Trainer. Wandering Trainer. What did we get? Altruist Invoker Sage. That's weird. And this gives me Altruist. I already have Sage. Isn't Sage broken? I think it's like bugged, not that kind of broken, but is broken. Uh, Stoneplate Diana. I could try Invokers out and I wouldn't be against it. Six Invoker. How does this work? Heal and while the zone's up, she does bonus damage. Oh, first encounter, we dance with him. If you get in here, then like the more players that join into the middle, the better the rewards, apparently. I don't know how much this actually works. Gold, bow, sword. I'm going to sell this. Just hit 30. I have my six invokers in my team planner already. Then I'm getting sage and altruist, so I need to figure out how to make the best of that. There's a Darius, too, if I wanted it, but at this point, I don't really want it. Because I don't have my Lee Sin. This is just better. And I can hit 30 if I want. The jump from 2 to 3 Altruist is probably worth it. Do I have, like, Heavenly or something that I could hit? Umbral Mythic. I guess it probably not. Oh, this actually might be a win, too. It is a win. Nico can't beat all of them. Get me to 40. He took Prismatic Ticket. 100% heavenly game for them. I mean, Bard's Exalted. I do want to get Exalted in, like, ASAP. But it's a Rod. I'm going to take the Bard still. I guess I just play Rakan later. And that gives me Dragonlord plus Altruist. And Wukong would give me Sage. I don't think it's worth it to jump up to the extra for uh, Altruist, but it might be worth it for Sage. It definitely feels like it's worth it for Sage. So I could go Morgana. And like this is the comp that I want to play. Which feels like a fast 9 comp to me. So the way Exalted works, Altruist basically are guaranteed gun blades. Sage gives you Omnivamp and AP based on where you're at. So kind of similar to Strategist from a while back. Behemoth Bruiser. This is another exalted unit if I want. I mean, I'd just be missing a Moomoo. Moo. Doesn't really do anything for me to have extra though. Probably better for me to just put in a Kobuko for Bruiser. I know like most of these are AP units that I'm playing in the back line. So I need to figure out how, like who's holding these items. Right, here, you can have a Spear of Shojin. And exalted, the way it works is based on your level, like your current actual level, you get percent bonuses for attack damage, and then also at the end of every turn, you get one of these soul cores that you can sell for XP. So we get the pre-level here. That's a Janna, so we have one good unit there. What is this? Gold orb. There's a whole bunch of gold. Another sword. Glove. Another Janna. Throwing Janna in immediately gives us Dragonlord and Invoker. And she is a backline unit. Magic caster. Cost me eight to level. It's got to be worth it. Even if it's just saving health, it seems worth it to me. Oh, also I can slam a JG. I can just plan on replacing the Janna later. JG Gunblade Giant Slayer I'm fine slamming. If I'm going past 9, I need to think about what else I'm playing too. Not best friends. This is just a remover that you can always use. I think I'm just taking partial ascension. I mean that, if I found a Lee Sin, I could go to five exalted. 
doesn't seem worth to me. I mean, set would probably be fine. Maybe just play this comp. Oh, this guy has Heavenly Emblem. I think there's three people playing Heavenly. Heavenly, Heavenly, Heavenly. Four? Four people with Heavenly in, all contesting each other. Oh, I won that fight. That looked like it was going to be a loss right at the end. Encounter two lesser champion duplicators or one real champion duplicator. I'll take the real one. I, mean, I guess I two-star this. I might as well. Bruisers do the same thing that they've always done. Sage, that was the strategist I explained. Heavenly's a little weird, though, and most of the lobby's playing it, so I'll kind of explain it. Basically, you want to three-star all of your Heavenly units. So... Each heavenly unit offers you this buff, so you can say 15%, 10%, but that buff goes to your entire team. So, and it increases with the more heavenly units you play. So you really want to play just a full-on heavenly reroll game. Unfortunately for all of these people, everyone in the game is playing it. This Janna, by the way, is dealing way more than I would expect. 2600 as a one star. I think I just want to take armor. I want a frontline item. Hey, it's my Annie. I'm never playing the Orn. That takes out a lot of synergies. It's actually not worth it for me to play Annie right now. That feels really weird. I still have no clue why half the lobby decided to play Heavenly. It's PBE though, so there's like no actual ranks. Uh, this guy has Annie 2. That's no good. Why do you have my Annie? That's Kiana 2. I guess I'm leveling here. Well, is there really a point? If I fight this guy, I'd be happy about it. Who also has an Udyr, by the way, at level 7. But everybody else, I don't really care. Oh, he's Wandering Trainer as well. Sage, Sniper, Ghostly. This Udyr unit has been very good from what I've seen. A very good. It, it makes a bunch of noise and I like honestly have almost zero clue what it's really doing. I'll just go ahead and throw Annie in. Oh, we have a Prismatic Orb. Radiant TG and gold. I'm gonna swap these out that way I can move these items. And you can have the stone plate. You can also have a bramble. Then Kiana, you can have this. I don't need these. I really feel like I shouldn't be winning any fights right now. But like this guy's getting crushed. Is Yone reroll? Oh, the GG Bond guy went to level 9 already. Going long. Wait, he just got to level 9 with going long? Okay. Ooh. I'm already planning on playing four invokers. Down. Balloon. Swap there. Swap this here. Get more Sage in. Organa can hold the Spear of Shojin okay. Invoker gives all of your units mana, but it doesn't give as much to the ones that aren't invokers. I did take out Exalted though, which is fine. Well, that's a three star Amumu. I still need Lilia and Azir, but I'm not in a hurry right now. It's crazy to me that he got to level 9 so quickly with going long. I think that's not normal. He also has 5 fortune in. He swapped to fortune. 
Zoe 3, Riven 3. I would love this Azir. Second pick, give me Azir. That means that I am guaranteed to hit my six Invoker. Sweet. And I can level, throw the Azir in, start rolling. Wakana pair. Wukong. There's Lilia. That gives me six Invoker. It's also way here. Don't care about Syndra, don't care about Kaisa, or Galio, or Riven, or Lee Sin, or even Silas. Six Invoker is kind of going off. That's an Azir 2. It just gave me Azir 2 basically for free. Right now, it's just these two Heavenly units that are in over Rakan. Who's the other one I'm missing? Set. Rakan set. I'm, I have these two in instead of Rakan set. I would love to find Janna replacement and move these items to Azir. You don't really need mana items normally whenever you play comps that are giving your units just a whole bunch of mana. There's an Aurelia I don't care about. A whole lot of gold, Trist, Bard, Shin, I don't care about any of those. Probably just second Stone Plate, then like a Rage Blade. I'm gonna keep rolling. Another Azir, an Annie 2. I guess Ionic's very good here. Ionic, Red Buff, a Loon. Annie and Alilia. This has to be like an item of his that's hid. Yeah, he's playing Lissandra, so he has items. The guy who's winning is Heavenly Reaper. Another Annie. Another Azir. I like actually have a chance to hit Azir 3, possibly. I'd have to find three more Azir's. Oh, I have a remover. I'm absolutely just supposed to remover this. That guy had multiple real champion duplicators. All right, remover here, move these items. Here you go, Azir. Another loon. There's Rakan. So Rakan, by the way, the way he works, back line, front line, they change what they are. Lilia two. Oh my, that was way more damage than I would think for a two star five cost. I'm just missing set. Artifact? Uh, Azir. I have to take just the Azir. Don't take it. It's PBE main. Don't take it. Give me this Azir. Loon 2. Uh, you can hold... Is Wukong? Wukong's a fighter. Trickster's Glass Lilia. Redemption there. Uh, let me look around. What's his extra trait? Like, does he have a unique trait? He doesn't, just Dryad and Invoker. I don't see any Dryads or Invokers anywhere. All right, one guy out. This other guy won. We have a chance. Another Rakan. Another Rakan. I don't care about a Loon. I'm rolling it down to zero after Elder Dragon, by the way. Uh, this guy just doesn't see the fact that he has an orb right here, I don't think, because he keeps not picking it up. I pinged it. Hopefully he sees it. That's another Azir. Here you go, set. You can have this. We're one off of Azir 3. Another Annie. Uh, sure, I'm just gonna set your tank. Another Annie. Wukong. 
Kong 2. Set. I have Annie 2 now. Or Annie 3. I want the Azir. Show me the Azir, please. No, you're the wrong five cost. Can I make it to Carousel if I throw somehow? I put the Azir up front. Also, why is she just chilling over here? Oh, he's going for Lee Sin 3. Kind of want him to hit. I put him up front hoping that he dies early. He did not die early. Dropped a gold. I didn't... Wait, Azir can drop gold? Who dropped gold? I don't even know who dropped gold. No! He just died! It was stage six! Oh, I can't fly, man. I mean, I still take my first. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.